Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Marketing. In this episode, I want to share with you um, this setup that I made um, using Blender. Basically, I want to have like a, like a work cloud type of things. And I'm using animation nodes to do this. Um, the setup itself is, should be pretty simple. It's, it's not that complicated. Um, here, I'm actually using a bunch of Pokemon names and just spread uh, like a bunch of text instances and using animation nodes it's pretty easy to change the text into the name and i'm randomizing uh, the text uh, also using animation nodes um, and i'm using the this uh, offset matrix nodes and the whole setup is so that i can create this kind of 3d effects um, that you might have seen this is Facebook uh, 3D photo effects. It's still kind of new. You can you can actually do this using um, iPhone 10, iPhone XS, XR. Um, you can also use iPhone with dual camera. Basically, any iPhone that takes portrait mode can create these kind of effects. But I want to create it using Blender. And if you if you have learned 3D for a while, you should. You should know that you can create a, a dev, dev map pretty easily and in Blender of course you can do that and this is kind of like I was experimenting and this is I think one of the the best examples so that you can really understand what's going on so maybe I should uh, zoom on this um, okay Let's have a, have, have a look. So I started with uh, this distribute matrices. Basically, it's gonna scatter a bunch of points in a grid fashion. And then there's this object in sensor for the text object. And for the text itself, I have this bunch of lists. I either, uh, you can either use the text objects and split it into different lines and then use that to randomize the, the tags or you can create your own list you can do that and i'm using offset matrices to randomize the position of the text i'll show you uh, we can actually easily change the text like so okay so that those are just like random pokemon names that i, I grabbed from the internet just grab it from here and yeah, the 3D text effect is easy. Once you have it, you basically, I'm using an app called DevCam app for the iOS. Um, I cannot mirror my iPhone at the moment, but uh, yeah, just try that app. Uh, let me just search for it. So you need this app on the iPhone. Oh, it's not even showing here. But this app allows you to embed um, a dev map that you generate in Blender. So in my case, of course, I have all this uh, set up using animation nodes. But uh, for the compositing, I also have this setup. Just pretty basic. By default, it will render the dev. But remember, you need to map it. You need to use map range to get uh, the depth to work correctly. Otherwise, maybe the depth is not showing properly, but you just simply adjust it until you are happy with it. You need to experiment with it a little bit. So if you render this out, you have the, the beauty render and the, the depth, so it will work on Facebook. It's looking 3D like this. It's more like 2.5D, of course, but uh, it's a, I think it's still kind of work in progress. You can see the result. It's not 100% perfect, but it's still pretty good. And yeah, you can really um, kind of use this technique to to add depth into your 3D render. You can you can try this. My example is pretty, you know, procedural and stuff. But uh, you can also use your own photo, for example, and create a silhouette. Um, 
yeah, but it's pretty fun to do. And also you can play around with dev and then you can use the, like a, maybe like projection mapping. You can turn, uh, you might have uh, made a setup where you use projection mapping to create like a two and a half D effects. You can try that uh, as well. So the secret is here basically with the render and the compositing. Um, of course you can use Photoshop or After Effects, but we, we like to use Blender for this, I think. So yeah, oh, oh, one more thing. When you render this out, make sure at the moment, I don't know why, but 800 by 600 pixels seems to be the size for it um, or four, four by three ratio. Otherwise it won't work with the dev cam app. I don't know why, but it's probably the limitations. Um, the iPhone itself can take a video with the uh, dev, but it's only like really low res, like 640 by 480. Um, yeah, but uh, this is this is the the, the app, dev cam. Uh, maybe Facebook itself has limitations with the dev and resolutions. So with the iPhone, you have 12 megapixel and the depth itself is probably pretty low resolution. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty interesting app and interesting workflow at the moment if you want to give this a try. Uh, so let me know if you have any question and I'll, I'll try to answer it. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.